Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do a test with uh, the MAX-2 and we're going to be testing specifically TSR, the Traffic Sensor Rejection. And what that is, uh, well what it's designed for is for blocking uh, traffic sensors on the highway every mile or two in some areas that uh, will blast you with K-band and cause K-band falses. So the way the MAX deals with it is it introduces a delay so that short brief alerts will get filtered out and only if the signal is long enough in duration will the signal allowed to be passed through. Uh, I believe usually it's like a half a second delay or so. I think with the Max it might be a little bit longer, so what I want to go ahead and do is just uh, test that real quick. So what we've got is uh, the Max 2 here on the right. We've got Escort Live here on the left, which we're going to use to see the alerts and also change the settings really easily. And then right here we've got just a little handheld uh, pocket radar, radar which transmits on K-band. So just a really handy little K-band source. So to look first at our uh, settings here on the Max 2, I'm going to go into radar settings. Um, I've got all the GPS and stuff off because I don't want any uh, lockouts to be happening right now. The main thing that we're interested in is uh, we've got K-band on and we've got TSR. Let's start with TSR turned off to show uh, the really responsive alerts of the detector. Uh, we're going to have it running in highway mode. Um, so we're going to basically remove any other filters from K-band. Uh, we're going to put K-Band on maximum performance, basically, and uh, we'll just see what the unit is capable of without some really heavy filtering. So you'll see highway mode right there. Whoops. My bad. Let's put this guy back up. And uh, let's go ahead and transmit. Um, you're going to be able to see the screen. Up on top here, when it's transmitting, you'll see a little icon, and you'll see that once I start transmitting, the max will respond really quickly. So that was nice and quick. That was just a really short fraction of a second. So just after I started transmitting, uh, the MAC started going off there. It's, what, 24129, it says. So we'll let the uh, alert go away, and we'll do that just uh, one more time real quick so you can see. So you'll see up on the top, there's going to be that icon when we transmit. And there you go. So you can see the MAX does alert pretty quickly. It's maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds or something. Um, I'm not sitting here with a stopwatch and testing it, but you can see it is pretty quick. And, uh, you know, there is a little bit of a delay between there and then the Bluetooth communication to get it to pop up there. But the audio is really quick here and the video, or, well, visual display. So, anyways, uh, what we're going to do next is go ahead and enable TSR. So we're going to scroll down, and TSR, we're going to go ahead and turn that on now. And now what you're going to see is a bit of a delay when I uh, start transmitting to when the MAX 2 will actually go off. So we'll go ahead and let the uh, signal die down. We don't want any sort of latch in it responding quickly because it just saw a signal. So here we go. And transmit. So a little bit longer. Not crazy long, but uh, so not really a big deal there, 24, 130. Um, I was expecting a little bit longer of a delay, but that really was, I don't know, we'll try it here again in a second, but half a second maybe. Let's give it another second for the alert to die down, and we'll give it another shot. Okay, let's go ahead and do another uh, K-band shot. One, two, three. Ooh, that was a long one. Is that like two seconds or something? Uh, I wasn't counting, I probably should, but <laughs> you guys watching the video, I'm sure can stop, pause, rewind, slow-mo, and, you know, just count. So. Uh, I'll do it again here, and I'll actually, well, pay attention this time, because <laughs> it looks like that time it was a slower shot. It was a slower alert, and that took, I don't know, maybe two seconds or so for the alert to happen. So, ooh, something else we can try is I'll do, if we see it's about two seconds, I'll try a shot that's about one second long and stop transmitting, and we'll see if it, uh, if TSR actually prevents the MAX-2 from alerting at all. So... Uh, let's just go ahead and do another quick shot here, and we'll see how long it takes for the max to alert. One, two, three. That was about two seconds. Okay, so I was watching that one with a little uh, timer thing here on my phone. So it's actually a two-second delay with TSR on the max 2, which is pretty aggressive. Uh, some of the other detectors, TSR, like on the V1 we've tested it, it's about a half-second delay. Um, that's with TMF1. TMF2, the new version of it on the V1 3.894, uh, there's a new version of TMF out which I believe does have a longer, um, 
filter like this. It's just one of the things that people are doing now to uh, help with all the K-band falsing, which is everywhere. So just a filtering technique. But anyway, so that was a two-second long um, requirement for the signal to go through. So what we're going to do is uh, do a shot here for about a second or so. So we're going to transmit, stop. Oh, look at that. No alert from the MAX-2 at all. And you can see it actually continues to transmit after I let go, so it's a little bit even longer than I was expecting. But just watch up at the top here, you'll see that little icon when it's transmitting. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and do the quickest alert. So you see it's uh, filtering out these um, these K-band shots. And this is uh, basically designed for sports and stuff, to clock baseball players and race cars and all, but it's same type of radar that police use, so whatever. You can see it is filtering out um, these shots. Here comes the mailman. Alright, and we'll do a little bit longer shot now. Um, all right, a little bit longer. A little bit longer. And filtering that out too. So yeah, it is a pretty aggressive filter to uh, get rid of these K-band shots. There we go. Finally got one long enough. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, switch now over to TSR off, radar settings. Okay, so TSR is on. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Done. And now let's go back to a regular K-band shot. And I'm just going to do uh, one of the quick ones. Um, this thing isn't the fastest gun on the planet. It is designed to shoot long enough to get a speed all by itself. So I'm just going to press the button and let it do its thing. So press, and there you go. Seat alert's no problem. So TSR on the MAX-2 is about a two-second delay. Okay, Go ahead and do one more shot here. We'll do just a quick one, two, three. There you go. So what did we learn? Uh, TSR, um, well, it definitely does help to get rid of a lot of the falses that you see on the road. Um, the compromise that they do is there is a two-second delay. Uh, on K-band shots so that any shots shorter than two seconds will get filtered out. Any shots two seconds or longer uh, will pass through. has nothing to do with single or signal strength. You can see this is a full power shot. The radar gun is like super close to the detector. Uh, normally not the greatest thing to do. That can cause overdriving and problems with the radar gun being so close to the detector. But uh, for the sake of this test it is working properly and that is showing us what we want. So. There you go, uh, TSR, helpful against falses, but you do get a two second delay uh, with the MAX 2. Um, I'm guessing the MAX 1 is going to be the same thing. Uh, can't say for sure, but probably the same thing. So anyway, there you go, there's a look at uh, TRC, TC, <laughs> TSR, traffic sensor rejection on the uh, Escort Passport MAX 2, and what kind of compromises you got and delays are implemented. So, thanks for watching.